John Anthony Tenta Jr. was a Canadian professional wrestler and sumo tori, best known for his work in World Wrestling Entertainment as Earthquake. After a promising start to his sumo career, using the name Koto Tenta, Tenta switched to professional wrestling and became a high profile star for the WWE, feuding with Hulk Hogan and winning the WWF Tag Team Championship with partner and personal friend Typhoon. His professional wrestling career also encompassed runs with World Championship Wrestling, where he was known as Avalanche and The Shark, All Japan Pro Wrestling, and a return to WWE as Golga. John Tenta was born in Surrey, British Columbia on June 22, 1963, named after his father. He was a large baby weighing 11 pounds, 3 ounces at birth. Inspired by professional wrestlers Gene Kaniski and Don Leo Jonathan, John decided to pursue professional wrestling at the age of 6. John started making headlines in 1978 at the age of 15 as a member of the Cloverdale Community School Rugby Team, winning the 1978 Fraser Valley Junior High School Rugby title, and later as a member of the Surrey Beavers Rugby Club and barely missing the 1979 Provincials. John learned freestyle wrestling at North Surrey Secondary, and in 1980, he celebrated his 17th birthday in Japan by winning a gold medal in the over 87 kilograms class of the World Elite Wrestling Championships after wrestling for less than a year. The following year in 1981, John became a Canadian Junior Champion shortly after his 18th birthday. John finished 6th in the Super Heavyweight category at the World Junior Wrestling Championships. He then won an athletic scholarship to the Louisiana State University where he competed in NCAA level collegiate wrestling. At LSU he was nicknamed Big John, lettering on the Tiger Varsity Wrestling Team and participating on the football team. In 1985, LSU had dropped varsity wrestling, forcing him to choose a new sport. John then walked on to the LSU football team, where he played some junior varsity games as a defensive lineman. He was also known as a quiet giant, while employed as a bouncer at an LSU college bar called the Bengal. John also played rugby for the LSU Rugby Club. One day on campus, John saw some white students threatening a young black man. They found out the hard way that John didn't tolerate racism. John then moved to Japan to pursue a career in sumo wrestling after being recruited by a former Yokozuna who met John on a trip to Vancouver. In October 1985, he joined a sumo stable, Sado Gatake, run by a former Yokozuna. Following tradition, the young sumo tori took the name Koto Tensa, translated as Tenta the Harp. Beginning the sport at age 22, he entered nearly seven years later than many non-college aspirants. The combination of his size and training as a wrestler were to his advantage in learning and advancing in the sport. The novice won all of his 24 bouts during his eight-month active career, and later renamed Koto Tensen Heavenly Mountain Harp. The novelty of being a rare westerner sumo tori in the mid-1980s and the third ever Caucasian garnered him press coverage and he earned the additional nickname of the Canadian Comet. Despite doing well as a newcomer, he soon quit the sport due to the difficulty of the sumo lifestyle and the toll of the hard ring surface was taking on his body. In addition, the sumo world frowned on the large tattoo of a tiger on his left bicep and though he covered it during his matches, would have required him to remove it via skin graft before moving up to the higher level competitions. In Japan, tattoos are associated with gangsters and public display is widely prohibited. After leaving sumo, John quickly signed up for Japanese pro wrestling under the tutelage of the giant Baba. He made his professional wrestling debut with All Japan Pro Wrestling on May 1st, 1987 teaming with Giant Baba and defeating Rusher Kimura and Goro Tisarumi. Tenta had a solid 18-month career, teaming with popular Japanese wrestlers Giant Baba, Jumbo Tisaruda, and the Great Kabuki, before getting the attention of American pro wrestling promoters, as well making tours in Vancouver for Al Tomko's All-Star Wrestling, where he competed as a babyface, but later turned heel when he began being managed by Gentleman Jonathan Sayers. After making two dark match appearances under his real name in March 1989, 
John joined the WWF full-time in September 1989. In his first match after signing on, a dark match on September 21st, 1989, he was known as Earthquake Evans and managed by Slick. John then made his WWF televised debut on the November 11th, 1989 edition of WWF Superstars of Wrestling, where he was planted in the audience as a normal spectator at the taping held in Wheeling, West Virginia. During an in-ring interview with Gene Okerlund, Dino Bravo challenged the Ultimate Warrior to a strength competition. In order to demonstrate, Bravo and manager Jimmy Hart suggested they pick a random audience member to come into the ring and sit on the backs of Bravo and Ultimate Warrior as they did push-ups to see who could do the most. The Ultimate Warrior agreed, and Hart, after pretending to look around the audience, centered his attention on the very large John Tanta, who was sitting in the audience in casual clothing and appearing surprised. John came down to the ring, identified himself as John from West Virginia, and proceeded to sit on Dino Bravo's back as he did a set of push-ups. During the Ultimate Warrior set, however, John leapt down onto the prone Ultimate Warrior using a seated senton that was adapted to be a signature move. Bravo and John Tenta then beat and unleashed multiple splashes on the prone Ultimate Warrior. Both then celebrated as John Tenta was inaugurated into the WWE as a heel with Hart as his manager. John was pushed as a Canadian Earthquake and by WrestleMania 6, simply Earthquake, an unstoppable monster heel who often sent his opponents out on a stretcher after repeatedly hitting them with a sit-down splash. Earthquake's first pay-per-view appearance was when he replaced Barry Windham on Randy Savage's team at the 1989 Survivor Series. Earthquake eliminated Hercules and survived the match along with Savage and Dino Bravo. He made his WrestleMania debut at WrestleMania 6, defeating Hercules. John's career peaked when he entered a feud with Hulk Hogan. The feud exploded in May 1990 when Earthquake snuck up on Hogan from behind during a segment of the Brother Love Show and repeatedly crushed Hogan's ribs with his Earthquake Splash. Eventually, Hogan recovered and gained revenge on Earthquake and defeated him in a series of matches across the country, starting with Hogan's countout victory on SummerSlam 1990. Hogan and Earthquake were the final two participants in the 1991 Royal Rumble, with Hogan getting the victory. After a stint with Hogan, Earthquake attained another WrestleMania victory, defeating former Hart stablemate Greg Valentine at WrestleMania 7. On April 1, 1991, WWF held a joint show in Kobe with Japanese promotion Super World of Sports called SWS Wrestle Dream. Earthquake appeared to face Kojo Kiteo in a battle of two former sumo wrestlers. Kateo and Tenta broke kayfabe by being uncooperative with each other. Kateo didn't sell Earthquake's attacks and shot on him. The match ended when Kateo was disqualified for kicking the referee WS. After WrestleMania 7, Earthquake instigated a feud with Jake the Snake Roberts. When in their match that aired on WWF Superstars of Wrestling, he squashed Damien with his Earthquake splashes. Earthquake had tied up Roberts in the ropes before going on a rampage. In reality, in Robert's bag, one of two left at the ringside for the match contained pantyhose stuffed with hamburger and a small motor to simulate a live snake. When the match aired on WWF Superstars of Wrestling, footage of Earthquake landing on Damien was interrupted with cutaway shots to the show's event center. Although the incident aired uninterrupted and uncensored during WWF Primetime Wrestling the following week. Later, Earthquake participated in a skit on WWF Primetime Wrestling, where he cooked Quake Burgers on a grill and served them to co-host Vince McMahon, Bobby the Brain Heenan, and Lord Alfred Hayes. Later, Earthquake revealed that the meat was ground from Damien's carcass. Heenan had already eaten three or four burgers, and Hayes was curious about the meat. Earthquake mentioned the animal from which the meat was taken rhymed with Quake, and Hayes said they were snake burgers. Hayes got sick and nearly threw up. Vince was angry over this and knocked the tray out of Earthquake's hands, which knocked all the burgers onto the floor. Roberts and Earthquake feuded throughout most of the late spring and into the summer. Later in 1991, Earthquake formed a tag team with Typhoon, also known as Tugboat, also known as the Shockmaster, calling themselves the Natural Disasters managed by Jimmy Hart. Initially a heel team, the duo feuded with the Legion of Doom over the WWF World Tag Team Championship, but were unsuccessful. Later, the disasters turned face when Jimmy Hart betrayed them and joined forces with Money Inc., a team composed of Erwin R. Scheister and Ted DiBiase. Money Inc. had just won the tag team titles from Legion of Doom at WrestleMania and they defeated Money Inc. by countout but did not win the titles. 
Although Earthquake and Typhoon eventually won the tag team titles, it wasn't long before Money Inc. regained the belts. John left the WWF in January 1993 after losing the account out to Bam Bam Bigelow. The night after the Royal Rumble for a spell in Japan for war. He also had a brief stint in CMLL in late 1993 and a visit home to Surrey, British Columbia. John returned to the WWF January 1994 when he assisted Bret Hart in a match with Shawn Michaels by countering Diesel's interference. He defeated Adam Bomb in a quick squash match at WrestleMania 10. He then engaged in a short feud with Yokozuna, with whom he had a sumo match on Raw. John Tenta's sumo background was also revealed, and he won the sumo match. Earthquake was scheduled to face Owen Hart in a King of the Ring qualifying match. However, during a May 14th, 1994 house show in San Jose, California, Earthquake was injured by Yokozuna and crushed. Footage of Yokozuna hitting a bonsai drop at the show was televised before the qualifying match to explain his absence in which Doink the Clown was his replacement. He again disappeared from the WWE thereafter and returned to Japan for WAR. John then contacted World Championship Wrestling. Hulk Hogan, a longtime friend, lobbied to have John come in, and so John joined WCW. Before joining WCW, John worked a tour of Japan for UWF International, where he teamed up with Super Vader. John was introduced as Avalanche and was a member of Kevin Sullivan's Three Faces of Fear. He later aligned with Big Bubba Rogers and feuded with Sting and Randy Savage. At Clash of Champions 29, Avalanche, The Butcher, and Kevin Sullivan faced Hulk Hogan, Sting, and David Sullivan in a six-man tag team match, with Mr. T as a special guest referee, but lost the match. At Starcade 1994, Avalanche lost to Sting by disqualification. At Super Brawl 10, Avalanche and Big Brother Rogers faced Sting and Randy Savage, but lost when Sting pinned Avalanche. At Uncensored 1995, Avalanche faced Randy Savage, but lost by disqualification. The Avalanche name was then dropped after WWE threatened legal action over similarities to the Earthquake character. John returned under the ring name The Shark and joined the Dungeon of Doom faction. He believed this could be the beginning of a long-term gimmick and even changed the tattoo on his arm from an LSU tiger to that of a shark, a process that took 24 hours. Rumors were that WCW management forced him to do that, but in reality, it was John himself that brought up the idea. At Fall Brawl 1995, John teamed with other members of the Dungeon of Doom, Kamala, the Zodiac, Ming, and the Taskmaster to face the Hulkamaniacs, Hulk Hogan, Randy Savage, Lex Luger, and Sting in a War Games match where they lost. On the October 9, 1995 edition of WCW Monday Nitro, Shark faced Sting for the WCW United States Heavyweight Championship, but failed to win the title. Shark competed in the WCW World War III 60-man battle royal for the vacant WCW World Heavyweight Championship, which was won by Randy Savage. John eventually left the Dungeon of Doom and wrestled under his real name after delivering a promo about the many names and gimmicks he had been forced into into the past, including the infamous line, I'm not the shark. I'm not a fish. I'm not an avalanche. I'm a man. John Tenta. At the 1996 Great American Bash, he defeated Big Bubba Rogers. After the match, John Tenta cut Rogers' goatee with a pair of scissors. At Bash of the Beach 1996, John defeated Big Bubba Rogers in a Carson City Silver Dollar match. On the July 1996 edition of Nitro, John got a shot at the WCW World Heavyweight Championship against a giant but failed to win the title. Following the match with the Dungeon of Doom's giant, Big Bubba Rogers, who had just left the dungeon, shaved half of Tenta's head. Tenta said he wouldn't shave the other half because he wanted to look in the mirror and relive the embarrassment. The two went to feud against each other, with Rogers shaving Tenta's beard as well after John lost another match to the giant. In the spring of 1987, John joined Roddy Piper as a member of his family. The angle was quickly dropped and Piper instead joined forces with the Four Horsemen, being the members of his family. John left WCW in early 1997. After his feud with Big Bubba Rogers, John then resurfaced in the WWE on the May 25, 1998 edition of Raw's War under the name Golga. He wrestled under a mask as one of the oddities and the character had a fascination with Eric Cartman from the TV series South Park. The gimmick was given to John because he lost a considerable amount of weight, so much that the WWE thought it wouldn't be believable for John to reprise the earthquake gimmick with the weight loss. At SummerSlam, the Oddities defeated Kai and Ty in a handicap match, and at the 1998 Rock Bottom pay-per-view held in Vancouver, British Columbia, 
Golga and Kurgan squared off against the Headbangers in a tag team match. When Golga was tagged, fans chanted Earthquake and John received the biggest reaction of the match, but nonetheless was pinned by Thrasher. And at the 1999 Royal Rumble, Golga competed in the 30 wrestler Royal Rumble match, entering number 3 but was quickly eliminated by Steve Austin. The oddities disappeared in the beginning of 1999 with all the members being released. He did, however, return to the WWE one last time in 2001 with the Earthquake gimmick, where he's one of the participants of the 20-man gimmick battle royal match at WrestleMania 17, being eliminated by Kamala. In December of the same year, he also worked a dark match against Tank Malachi before an episode of SmackDown. John Tenta's professional wrestling career garnered him appearances in several video games. In 1991, Earthquake was portrayed as a feature character in Techno's popular arcade video game, WWF WrestleFest. He was also included in the 1992 home video game, WWF Super WrestleMania by Flying Edge for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. In 2004, the Japanese video game developer Spike released King of Colosseum 2 for PlayStation 2 that featured John as an unlockable character. It was a Japan-only release. John retired from wrestling in 2004 and opened a wrestling school, but the plans came to a halt after it was revealed he had developed bladder cancer and was told he had a 20% chance to live, assuming he continued with his chemotherapy treatments. During his November 15, 2005 interview with WrestleCrap Radio, John announced that a recent radiation dosage should not go as planned and had no effect on the tumor. He also announced he had multiple tumors and it spread to his lungs. Over the next several months, John spent countless hours contributing to a popular wrestling forum, posting updates on his fight with cancer, chatting with fans, and developing personal friendships with many. Sadly, John lost his battle with cancer on June 7, 2006 at the age of 42. Many superstars including Bret Hart, Jim Cornette, and Stevie Ray among others described John as one of the nicest guys they ever met. Behind the scenes, John was known as a family man who was easy to deal with and always did what was best for the business. John was also named Honorary Chairman of the 1986 BC Championships for the Disabled. He was married and had three children. The first public notice of John's death was posted that day on WWE.com. On the June 9, 2006 edition of SmackDown and the June 12, 2006 edition of Raw, WWE showed a bumper that read RIP Earthquake John Tenta before each show began. I'm aware of the bonds that were created today. Told me that sure there's a way The water's so still And my pain has gone away The air is much cleaner after it rains Follow my love The scent that's in spring air Follow the moment of the sun there's a call for new beginnings here But the sorrow of yesterday disappear Let your body be new I'm a wanderer of the soul Before the end I plan to be whole But I know I'll lose myself along the way What's gone is gone What's past is past Let me leave what belongs in the past The road ahead is quite unclear Let me walk in despite fear The road stretches over the hills And I've got many debts to pay Somewhere on 